Hey Expressions Vinyl, I am Kimbo and I blog at agirlmcglugan.com and I'm here to show you what's in the September mystery box. I'm not going to give you any hints, but there is a theme. <laughs> okay, so I love Halloween. I actually begged to do this box um, because I, I just wanted to do all things Halloween-y, so I did. And I know you're probably thinking, it's September, it's too early for Halloween. But it's not, because I don't even know where the whole summer went. And so if you don't start crafting now for Halloween and fall, it's going to be Christmas. So you got to start now, you got to start early. Okay, before I show you what's in the box, if you have not opened your box, or you haven't gotten it yet, and you don't want any spoilers, then you better stop the video, because I'm going to show you everything that's inside, my thought process of it, and like the cut files that I designed specifically for the vinyl. Before we dive into it, I actually have a bunch of stickers in my shop, and I had, like I said, I love Halloween. So I have a lot of Halloween ones, and so I had them put in a sticker in each box. Hopefully it's in there. And there's a bunch of different ones. I think there's a I want to say 10. There's maybe 8 to 10 different kinds of stickers in there. So we've got like ghosts. There's glow-in-the-dark ghosts and holographic ghosts. There is a lot of um, Hocus Pocus themed ones because I love Hocus Pocus. And then there's even this cute, terrific, it's a glitter spider web and it says terrific in there, which is from Charlotte's Web. So you'll have to share which stickers you got because there's a bunch of different ones. So I've actually done mystery boxes before with Expressions Vinyl, but I haven't done any recently and I love that, that now that they have vinyl blanks, it literally between the cup files, the vinyl, and the vinyl blanks, you're good to go. You can craft projects right away and I love that. So let me show you the vinyl blanks that I picked. So this looks like uh, wood, but if you peel it off, it's actually acrylic. So I have a couple cup files that I designed specifically in mind for this. It's like a tree or you could do a fun quote and then I'm going to put a tea light behind it to kind of light it up because it'll be see-through. Of course, I can't get off <laughs> the covering to show you. But it's the acrylic underneath, which means it'll be see-through, which will be super fun. Cool little spooky sign. All right, vinyl blank number two. We've got a couple pairs of socks. They're just white socks. Um, one of the heat transfer vinyls is puff, which means when you it cuts out regular and then when you add an iron to it, it puffs up. And so I kind of put that in intentionally because I thought it would be really cute to do like gripper socks, like little puff at the bottom. So I've got a couple different cup files that would work really well with socks. I've got like a bunch of bats that you could put on the bottom. I've got cats that you could put on the bottom. I've got some cute sayings. So tie dye them. You could do black and make them look um, like kind of like spider webs. I know there's lots of different fancy ways to fold for tie dye. So I love the the options are open with those. And then the last one I'm so excited for. It's a cute little ghost. Um, which is going to be cute by itself. I have a really cute bippity boppity boo that I'm going to put on, on one side of this, but I actually had a specific thought in mind with this. I wanted to make a charbuterie board, um, with like all cute white stuff on it. So that's what we're going to make. So you're going to have to stay tuned to watch the videos of how to make all these fun projects because they're all in here right now and they need to come out and make these cute projects. So, okay, so I was trying to be clever and I was Googling um, Halloween puns for the names of the pattern vinyl. So some of the names are, they all have a gag, which is my acronym, A Girl and the Glue Gun. So you'll know which ones are mine, but I was trying to be clever with the names and it was also like one in the morning. <laughs> so some of them are a little weird. So let's go, I never know if I should show the patterns first. Let's do the regular, let's show you the vinyl first and then I'll show you the patterns. So we have, let me keep my cheat sheet out because of course I don't remember. Okay, we talked about the puff. So we have orange and puff, which is what I wanna make everything with. I love puff, but specifically the socks. We have yellow, sun yellow, which is just easy, Caesar easy weight, easy weed. There's my yellow. We have Sparkle Midnight, which is a black. It's called Midnight Black, but 
it's very, the sun's hitting it, so it's looking gold, uh, silver. But if you can see, it's really pretty. Remember, these have a carrier sheet on top of it. So sometimes they're even more sparkly and pretty once that carrier sheet comes off. Love that one. Um, we have blush. So this is holographic. You can tell. I'm right by a window. So I feel like that glare from that window is making it hard. And I love this one. Uh, it, the color's parakeet. <laughs> Caesar Aurora HTV. And I'm hoping you can capture, like, it almost has like a linen look to it. And you can see all the different colors. I do think parakeet's an accurate name. It's green. It's yellow. It's, I see blue. Like, it's all of it. It's, it's gorgeous. So, love that. And then the two patterns that are in your HTV is So Corny which is because there's candy corn. So this one has got all the cute treats on it. You can see. And then the second pattern, I'm running out of space. Too much vinyl. The second pattern that's in there is called the irony with I, <laughs> it's I, I don't know. I'm questioning my midnight choices of the names, but it's eyeballs. With Okay, let's go to adhesive. There are four different patterns in the adhesive. Um, one of them is my favorite. It's the one that I like drew first and then everything was kind of based off of it, like the color scheme wise. So I'll show you that one very last. So we're gonna start with the most boring one, which when I say boring, it's just cause it's boring, but it's the most used one outside of my weeding tool. It's the transfer tape. We got two sheets of transfer tape in clear. It's not, it's not boring. It's just not nearly as fun as the other stuff. But like I said, you have to have it. Um, the next up is inkjet printable vinyl, which I included this last time I picked a mystery box or the time before that. I don't even remember, but I love this stuff. I have a whole tutorial on my website on like how to make stickers. And I, I literally bought like six different kinds of sticker paper and this inkjet printable vinyl, it's not considered sticker paper, but this held up the best. I even washed it in the dishwasher without like putting anything over it. And it, it the, was like the only one that held up. It was by far the best. So I had to include this in it. I did do a couple of my cut fires have colors on it. So you could print those out if you wanted to, but I did make one specifically for the inkjet printable vinyl. And I'll show you that project later. You got to make sure that you're subscribed to Expressions Vinyl on all the social media platforms that you're on because that's where the videos are going to be showing. So, um, let's see. This one is glitter orange. I don't know if you can tell the, see the glitter. It is very glittery. It's very pretty glitter orange. And then we have two oracles. We have dark gray and golden yellow. See? fall colors if you want to do fall instead of Halloween we have easy PSV starling in matte white which I love matte and white let's be honest we've got spider webs we've got ghosts we've got there's a lot of white things that you can use the white adhesive with um, all right we're up to our patterns so the first one is surfing the web, which is just cute spider webs. Okay. This next one is not named the best. It's called trick or treat, but it's just stripes. <laughs> so I didn't know what to call it. I couldn't think of anything good. You guys might be better at the, if you think of a better pun for that, let me know, but it's pretty stripes. It's got all the colors of the vinyl that's in the box here. Let me show you just from like, can you see? Okay. I love a good stripe. I feel like it's great and it can go way beyond just Halloween. When you cut into it, like when you do letters and stripes, they look so cool. Um, I love these last two are my favorite. So we've got Check It, which is a really cute fall checkerboard. I want to cut out just a giant pumpkin in this for a cute sign. I just love the checker. And then the last one is called... I don't even remember. Hocus Pocus. See, I told you I loved Hocus Pocus movie. So this is the one I designed first and that all the colors are kind of based off of it. And it is a pretty Halloween floral 
It's got ghosts, it's got bones, it's got pumpkins, it's got candy corn. I have to keep looking. Skulls. It's got all the cute Halloween stuff without being like super scary. Now let me show you all together. All right, I'm going to try to lift it all up so you can see it all together. The eyeballs are hiding. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it is pretty dang colorful for a Halloween box, if I do say so myself. If you guys have not signed up to get a mystery box, make sure to go sign up. I'm sure they'll put the link down or below or wherever. Um, but it's the best happy mail. Happy mail, not happy mail. It is the best happy mail that you're going to get because you know you're going to love it because it's vinyl, but there's so many fun surprise elements. The cup files, the vinyl blanks, the vinyl. So go sign up. Uh, make sure you're following along on all of Expressions Vinyl social media because I'm going to be doing all the fun projects with this and the vinyl blanks, so don't miss that. And you can follow along with me. I'm at agirlnaglugun.com and all the social medias too. So have a great day. We, I hope you loved your mystery box.